This is my iPad template for the overalls. I'm going to do the same mock-up for the actual overalls. So this is going to be displayed right here. Boom. The overalls. What I'm going to do is customize the overalls. I'm going to put SpongeBob face right there. SpongeBob, 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 SpongeBob. SpongeBob, 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 and then coral leaves. Be using this pink, red, yellow, green, orange, brown, white, blue. Well, good luck with that. These are the paints I'm gonna be using for the overalls. I'm gonna see you in the next clip. Two moments later. So, got my iPad. So boom, this is the template for the iPad. This is my iPad template for the overalls. I'm gonna do the same mock-up for the actual overall, so this is gonna be displayed right here. Boom. Put this design on these overalls, and we'll stay tuned, stay tuned in the next clip. Three days later. The pen I got is you got this, so boom. What I'm doing right now is just making an outline. I'm using white instead of the pen because it might be a little bit harder to trace. I'm using a white colored pencil. When you light, when you lay the paint on top of the denim jeans, I prefer white colored pencil, not pen, because it'll be harder to, because then it would be see through a little bit. Then you gotta keep adding layers and layers and layers just to remove the pen mark. But yeah, white is the best. What I'm doing right now, what I'm doing right now is kind of layering the marking down as in the denim jeans, the sample. So this right here, probably gonna add up to like right there, boom. So yeah, I'm just eyeing it, freehanding it, and then we're gonna get to it. Kinda just kinda make the white markings simple. And then we go back with the details later on with the paint because that's when it gets to it. Straight, nitty nitty. Get to the nitty gritty. But yeah. But y'all gonna see the plan, bro. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I love you, boy. <laughs> so I did this one, this SpongeBob, this SpongeBob, this SpongeBob, this SpongeBob. Now I'm on this SpongeBob right here. This one, the circle gotta be shifted just a little bit. Right there. Cause it's kinda like, kinda down the middle. So it's like, not right there. The leaf is like right here. I'm gonna get back to y'all when I get it a little bit better situated though. But yeah, now it's coming together well. So it's coming together well. We got the goofy face, the sponge right out trying to fill the, the little leaf thing, the eating the hamburger, hamburger. Then we got the spatula, that's the last one. And then we're gonna go with the leaf, like the little flower thing again. And then on this side, uh, that's good, good, good. And I'm probably going to airbrush a little bit, just to make it a little icy too, though. But, yep. So, SpongeBob, 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 SpongeBob. And then that's SpongeBob. I'm going to start off with the front part, then work my way down. But, yeah, this part, I'm probably redraw it. But, yeah, this is great for now. But, yeah, this is how it's looking right now. We're about to turn it up. What I'm going to need, I'm going to need white, probably more. And yellow, because I got to see how the yellow show up on the denim. So I'm going to grab a plate and then paint brushes and we're going to get straight to it. 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 Then the paint brushes right here. We're going to clean them. We'll clean it. Six and a half hours later. We're gonna do the sponge valves first and then we're gonna go to the leaves part. Cause that's the easier part. I'm gonna use a small paintbrush. This paintbrush is gonna be very small. It's clean for the most part. And we're gonna start off with the eyes. Cause I gotta see if this going. So we're gonna use a medium paintbrush. Make sure it's dry. Which it is. Yellow, I gotta see how good it's gonna take on to the yellow. See, that's what I'm saying. You probably gotta keep adding like three or four layers. Get two together. 
get like this type of color, a little bit lighter probably. I'm gonna do a little bit lighter. Yeah, a little bit blue. Right. That's a good color. Use the color black. I'll be very cautious because black really show. We're about to do these two SpongeBobs and boom. And the socks, I forgot. The socks is white too. I'm gonna go ahead with the socks, which so SpongeBob kind of got fashion, so you gotta gotta be like. Well, coat. Gotta use my baby right here, though. Yes, Lord. But now nah, this the heat gun I'ma use. Use it, dry it up. Once I got done. Painting like I just went back with an airbrush to make it pop. So I did like the hamburger, SpongeBob, that, 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 bro. We just, we just going crazy this year. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Clean. That little airbrush, you know, that little airbrushy brushy. Put the signature right there. But then I did a little airbrush to make it pop, though. And I put finisher to seal off the paint. I put this finisher on top of. SpongeBob, like that. Very thin coats, though. I'm gonna use this heat gun and, you know, put it on top of this paint. And I might add one more coat of acrylic, but no. But these pants are tough. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my goodness.